my name is Richard Swanson and I'm going to do a quick review on the Vatoro 65 backpack by Gregory. As some of you know, I am going to be backpacking and dribbling a soccer ball over 10,000 miles to the 2014 World Cup um, from Seattle, Washington to uh, Sao Paulo, Brazil. And um, I just want to talk about the pack I chose and why. So before heading out to my local sporting goods store, I decided to do a little research online to find out what bags are the best today. My search led me to four different bags, the uh, Gregory Baltaro 65, the Osprey Ether 70, the REI Crest Trail 70, and the Arcteryx Ultra 65. Uh, before I went in, I sort of went in with an idea that I was going to get the uh, REI Crest Trail, I did, you know, from its uh, design, I sort of liked it online and the good reviews. But um, after trying on that bag and the uh, Osprey, um, I quickly realized that those two bags just felt a little off to me. Um, they felt fine, I guess, but, but you know, after I loaded them with weights, they just there's something that was just off for me. And then the next bag I decided to try was the um, the Arcteryx Ultra. Um, that bag felt pretty good, so. But it was very expensive and so I wasn't really sure if I <clears throat> wanted to spend that kind of money. Um, the last bag I decided to go try on was the bag I ended up getting, for Christ's sake, um, the uh, Gregory uh, Baltero 65 pack. Um, <clears throat> I wasn't really sure about this pack because it was extra weight. Um, it was like I think six, a little over six pounds. And <laughs> so it's a heavy bag. So the main reason I fell in love with the Gregory Baltoro 65 backpack was this right here, the extra lumbar support. Originally when I first saw this, I was kind of weary of it, didn't really think much of it. Um, but the second it went on my back, uh, it made a world of difference. Is that there seems to be a couple different camps when it comes to this lumbar support. You either <clears throat> in the camp that loves it, like myself, or you hate it. And so you go for one of the other bags, like an Osprey, or <clears> that has less support than the uh, obviously the Gregory here. The second reason I the second reason I chose the Volturo backpack was its amount of pocket space and its ability to um, separate your gear and keep it very well organized. I mostly wanted to touch on to new backpackers or people who haven't done it in years um, is the uh, fact that you really need to go down and try on a pack. Um, before you buy it. Um, that made a world of difference. If I would have bought the pack that I was originally believe, thinking about buying, which, is, which was the REI Crest Trail 70, without trying it on, I would have not been happy in this in a trip like this. Um, not anyone's trip, honestly. You know, you really truly need to have that comfort level. And without actually putting the bag on your back, full of weight, and walking around for a while in the store, at least an hour, sort of get an idea what they all feel like. You know, adjust the straps, play with it. Don't run in and just grab the first bag you see. Um, try on several of them. You know, make it, you know, several out of the event. It's, you know, people over there at the stores are really nice and, you know, they let you try everything on. They'll help you out, they'll size you up. So if you like my video and you think what I'm about to do is pretty crazy and cool, uh, it would be great for you to uh, follow me on my website at breakawaybrazil.com or you know, like the video, share the video, tell a friend if you are a soccer fan.